All right, so we're out here in the back section of the property. Let me show you what I got here so far. So this is what I'm going with. I got a five pound bag of buckwheat, a two pound bag of Dutch white clover. I got some uh, sunflowers. We got the sunflower crazy blend and the autumn beauty mix. And then uh, showstopper here is uh, rutabaga brassica, turnip, and rapeseed. What I'm going to try to do with this is create a pollinator plot that also serves as a deer plot so I can hunt back here later this, uh, this fall. So we are going to get this planted and planting it with a, uh, just a bag seeder. I tilled this up three or four times over the last couple weeks and it looks like, uh, looks like it's ready to go. So my intent here is to plant this in sections. So we'll see what happens. I know the uh, buckwheat gets really, uh, really thick and it can take over. So I'm just gonna give it its own section down here. Then I'm gonna do a little mixture in the middle just to see how it works together, which plants, you know, dominate. And then uh, the food plot stuff up at the top. So I'm gonna start with the buckwheat down here at this end of the field. That's what buckwheat seed looks like. I'll just do most of it down here. So in case you're wondering, no, I have no idea what I'm doing other than watching some YouTube videos and having planted some grass seed in the past. Um, I have never done something like this, so this is a trial and error thing. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm hoping it goes well, but uh, we'll find out. Seems like some good soil back here. I didn't uh, soil test it. I didn't uh, add any fertilizer. This is just old cow pasture. All right, so this back section down here, from there, try to go slow here, to about right there. I don't know if you can see, there's a little hill right about here. That's where I stopped with the, with the buckwheat. I uh, laid it on pretty heavy, so we'll see how that goes. Now the second section is going to be, it's a narrower section here, and it's going to be uh, buckwheat and clover mixed, but it's much heavier on the clover. I've got uh, two pounds of clover, one pound of buckwheat approximately. Now it's my intention to put the food plot mix up here as I do some deer hunting back here. And I tend to hunt on this end of the property when I hunt. So I think this would be a good spot to uh, put the food plot stuff. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do is put out some sunflowers. Get them out of my pocket here. So the autumn mix and just the sunflower blend, it's the crazy blend, so we'll see what that means. So my intention with these is, is going to be just to walk around and uh, sprinkle them around, mainly around the edges, and just see what they do. So I'm going to try this here and see if it works. This is a like a lawn roller. And got the zero turn, so we'll see if this will work or not. It did uh, compact it quite a bit. Uh, I did one pass down the side there, right next to the grass. So I'm going to roll over this with this for a few minutes and see how it goes. So 
So it looks pretty good. I'm uh, actually quite impressed. And I'm not sure if it shows up good on camera or not, but it was uh, very rutted from the disc and uh, all choppy. And most of that's gone. So hopefully that works. We'll find out. Give it a few weeks to see if it uh, germinates and what pops out of the ground and just how it does. And the idea behind it is obviously if I can get uh, some pollinator type crops growing, it should increase the, uh, the honey production and benefit the bees just in general. So we'll see. Thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody. Hope you had a good day. Take care.